Hey, this is Carl. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I received a couple of comments and a couple of questions asking me about my assortment of rotary tools. So, I figured it's time to show you what I got, why I like them, why I don't like them, ones I use, ones I don't use. Let me rearrange, let me rearrange the camera. I'll be right back with you. Okay, here we go. Here's an assortment of what I have that I currently use. Some I use more than others. And let's go over these real quick. This one that I bought off eBay. And it was like, I don't know, four or five bucks with shipping. Come with accessories. Totally worthless. Not worth the money I put into it. And I'm going to, I don't know, came with a few accessories, not really worth anything. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. Probably give it to some little kid down the street. I don't know, give it to my granddaughter or something to play with. Anyway, worthless. Okay, these two right here, the heart and the Ryobi is the new style. I'm just going to hold up this one since it's closer. These have the flex shaft that come out the side right here. Totally different than this style, but it's a great concept. I love these. I'm going to get a lot of use out of these two. I hope I get a lot of use out of these two. I'll put it that way. Love both of these. Don't I don't prefer one over the other. I like them both the same. Okay, let's see where we're going to go next. Let's start with these. These are, these two are hyper tough, sold by Walmart, battery operated. I bought one at Walmart and I found the other one at a um, yard sale. I think I gave the one at the yard sale 34 bucks for it. The other one was like 20 bucks from Walmart, not sure. Anyway, these these are pretty good. I have no issues with these at all. Kind of like them. Nice, quick, easy to use. Good for small hands. This one right here, Chicago Electric, comes from Harbor Freight. It is also a cordless. Here, take off the battery right here. Rechargeable. Um, I haven't used this one very much. Like, okay, this plugs into the charger. I don't even know if it's charged up right now. I don't remember how to turn this thing on. Oh, here we go, <laughs> right here on top. There we go. Not a bad tool, under 20 bucks. So, maybe I'll use this one more and give a better review on this one again. This one I bought off eBay. Gave a review on this one. Not bad, not the best, but it works. No issues with this one. Now this one is the exact same body style. This one the exact same body style. And let's see. This one is the exact same. Now, if you know of the company called Alibaba, you can buy power tools, or you can buy almost anything, and if you buy enough of them, you can put your own personalized name on it. I'm oh, and you can pick your color, too. So I'm positive that's what happened to these. I would bet almost anything that these come out of the same factory. All the markings are the same. These work. No issues with these. I got each of these anywhere from ten to twenty dollars a piece with accessories, so they're not too bad. Not the best in the world, but for the price, you can't beat it. Either off eBay or Amazon, I'm not sure. Anyway, put these back down here. Oh, this one right here is made by AJ Wholesale. 
they sent me the first one and it vibrated so much I couldn't even use it so I contacted them and they sent me a new one and somewhere is the original I can't remember what I did with it but it's somewhere around okay not counting the Dremels this would be my favorite one of the bunch made by OEM tools here we go Let's see if we can get that in there OEM love the color love to have this tool works it's a great machine OEM makes other tools as well but this is the only one that I have made by them great tool I would recommend this if you're not gonna buy a Dremel this would be the one I would recommend to buy this one is a Texas Tool Company, TTC, TTS. Very basic, different type, kind of body style than, this, than these. And I believe I have another one with a body style like that somewhere in here. Here we go. This one's made by Do It, D O I T. Different color, but exactly the same. Like with these other ones, uh, they come from either eBay or Amazon, I'm not sure. But these aren't as comfortable to use in the hand because of the shape. Let me hold up one of these again. You can see the, the shape of the tool. This one's a little bit harder to use and hang on to, but it does work good. This one, I'm trying to keep these going in line here. Hyper Tough by Walmart. This with accessories was under $20. Don't have any issues with this at all so far. This one, another cordless power tool. This one sold by Aldi, not Aldi, Lidl, L-I-D-L. -L. I do like this one a lot. It is a battery charge system. Here is the charging port. It does take a type C connector. Much bigger than the other cordless type. You can see it has a triangle shape to it instead of a round. But as far as my cordless, so far this is my favorite. The model number on this one is PFBS12B3. Okay, let's go to this one right here. Look at the odd shape on this one. I'll hold up one of these other ones right here. You can see it has an odd shape to it. Because of the shape, it is a lot harder to use. It's kind of heavy in the back end. But again, this was under 20 bucks. I did a review on this one and I couldn't get it to turn on. So I did, after the review was over, I did take the brushes out and kind of rearrange the brushes and put them back in. After I did that, it turned back on with no problem. So, just a weird shape. It's kind of stumpy this way too compared to some of these other ones. Let's see here. This one was like this one. Let's go with this one. Work, work zone. This is sold by Aldi. I, I put the keyless chuck on the end of this one. I recommend the keyless chuck for any of these tools. It will save you so much time and aggravation. Spend the money, get the keyless chuck, the one that fits your tool that you have. Pretty good tool here. No issues with that. Okay, here's another... Oh, this is a Deco. D-E-K-O. And uh, the only time I've used this one 
was when I did a re review on it. So, no issues. It's just like these other ones. But I'm going to put this back in the box. And my daughter is needing some tools. So this one comes with the flex shaft. And it has a, the little stand where you can clamp it on your workbench. So she can play around with this one. It's going to be a little gift for her. It does work good. Under 20 bucks with accessories. Put that one aside. Here's another park side tool. Here's the cordless one. So it's roughly the same size. This is a after the OEM tools. This might be my next favorite in line. Great tool. One of the things I like better about this one is look at all this cord. This got a 10 foot cord on it. Love the 10 foot cord. Okay, let's go to this one. I have this one. I have the flex shaft connected to this one. I just leave this hanging up on the side of one of my work tables. This is another one of those like this that has the same kind of design. This is made by Schnauzer, just like you say the dog. And this one was also under 20 bucks. So, needing one always with a flex shaft hanging up for quick use, that's what I use this one for. I keep it clamped onto my shelf. Okay, here. There's another one I keep clamped up. It is a Dremel 4000. has the flex shaft already connected to it. This is another one I always keep clamped up and hanging on my shelf. Okay, the... My oldest one in my collection is this one, and it won't take a charge anymore. It is multi-pro cordless, 7.2 volt. I've had this at, at least 25 years, at least 25 years. When I used it, it worked great. I might be able to repair it, I'm not sure, but when I called Dremel, asked him about it, they act like they've never heard of this before. I don't know, it seems like since Dremel bought, I mean since Bosch bought Dremel, they seem to have conveniently forgotten about a lot of the older tools. I'm going to hang on to this. I still have the chargers packed up somewhere. Okay, right here is my stack of actual Dremel tools. I have one, two, three, four, Dremel 300. They've all been used. Not bad at all. This is Dremel 200. I've got one Dremel 200, one Dremel Multi Pro variable speed, and this one is a Multi Pro. The newer style. See this one and this one has the quick change chuck on it. Then let's go over to the Dremel 4000 XPR. I've got one of these. I've got three Dremel 4000s. A little bit bigger than the XPR. Wait, a lot of these, they look like they've never been used. But I have used every one of these, and I use not don't use every one of them all the time. But each one of them has a specific purpose. Like this one, for the time being, it has been in my Dremel drill press. The only issue is, is the uh, on and off switch and the lock button. They're kind of in a weird weird uh, position for the drill press. For the new drill press, the workstation, which is this one. Now the older version with just the regular drill press, the uh, probably 
probably 25 yards or so ago. But anyway, the buttons on this tool are hard to get to on this workstation, but it still works. No issues. I do like to keep my Dremels clean so they are cleaned off most of the time after every use. Try to blow out the brushes in the vents, keep all the dust off of them. One of these Dremel 4000s is uh, to be kept in my router base. Not the little one that has the spiral bit, but the actual Dremel router attachment. The one that has the plunge on it. So, again, questions or concerns? Let me do go into a little bit more details on some of these. Pick one out, shoot me an email, leave a comment in the section below. I'll do the best I can for you. My name's Carl. Do you appreciate you being with us?